old diesel. You ready for another day? We're in line to get loaded here. Loading up this guy in front of me first. And then it's my turn. It's supposed to go into Wapton. I have to confirm that because usually when they load us at the back of the yard here, it goes to Buxton, but my paperwork says I'm going to Wapton. I'm sure it's all going to work out. I'm, I'm sure it's going to be just fine. Specific freight, we have to use two inch straps with hand ratchets. That's because uh, in the past, people who have used four inch straps and the uh, ratchets on the trailer where we use the bar have damaged a lot of the pipe. We can get a lot more leverage, and guys were cranking on it too hard and tightening it too much, and it was destroying like a thousand feet of the drainage tile. was two inch straps and hand ratchets. You can still tighten it plenty enough, but it's almost impossible to tighten it too much. And these are those hand ratchets I was talking about. 
can't get quite the same leverage as you can when you're using the bar on on these things so it prevents guys from over tightening and damaging stuff at least that's the story i was told doesn't bother me it's much easier to use this and got a good system going it's 15 minutes to load less than 15 minutes to unload back and forth we're going to be doing this uh well i don't know if i'm specifically going to be doing this i hope so but uh, uh we got to get this drainage tile into the ground or the farmers have got to get it into the ground before the frost comes now this time last year we already had quite a bit of snow on the ground so they have a little bit of extra time this year to get this done but it'll probably be just a couple of weeks and then uh, it'll be too late to do anything more so they're rushing 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 now to get it all done so those of you who like it when there's different scenery in my videos every day don't worry this road is just a temporary thing i'm enjoying it right now so i'm gonna enjoy it as long as i can and then eventually there will be other stuff to do still waiting for the message to see if i'm coming back here tomorrow or not but I guess I'll just assume so, or I'll guess so. You should never assume. Never assume anything. That's how you get yourself in trouble. The time is now quarter to four, so I should be hearing very soon. Dispatch goes home at about 4 o'clock, so they're going to want a plan for me for tomorrow. Right after Mr. Grain Hauler. confusion a bit of a mix-up this morning they loaded the the wrong load on my trailer first it was our fault uh, we got the loads mixed up and told them to load the told them that I was a different truck sort of there was another driver of ours coming to pick up that load but that load was going staying in Manitoba going to Souris I believe and uh, my load was coming down here to Wapton so we had to unload that freight off my trailer then reload the proper freight onto my trailer so it took a little bit of extra time this morning and I've also been doing 62 mile an hour today just to save a little bit of fuel. Just under $900 US to fuel up. That was my run down to Buxton yesterday and down here today. That's about $1,240 Canadian, $1,240. Fuel prices went up here again. Remember last Friday I was saying it was $5.20? It's now $5.30. Keeps going up and up. And it's almost like a dollar more per gallon already, isn't it? Not quite, no, 60 cents more per gallon than it was a week ago, the beginning of last week. That's a lot of extra fuel. That's over $1,800 more every month, just one truck. And somebody's got to pay for the fuel, right? It all goes down the line to you guys when you go to the grocery store grocery store when you go to the furniture store whenever you buy something you have to pay for the energy to move that product to where you buy it at the store and energy is expensive nowadays didn't have to be you know it didn't have to be this way didn't have to get to this point but here we are 
living with the consequences of bad decisions made by some bad leaders. Cutting it a little bit close here. 19 minutes left on my US hours of service and I've got 10 miles to go. I'll make it, no problem. But uh, cutting it a little bit close. Uh, it's probably because I started at home this morning when we started in Steinbeck. So that added an extra hour and a half to the beginning of my day. And I, I did the math and I figured I could make it. I mean, the math was correct. We are going to make it, but just barely. Once we hit Canada and get onto Canadian soil, I'll have an extra two hours added onto my hours of service, so I'll be able to get to Carmen. In 600 meters, slide right on Lord Selkirk Highway, Highway 29, and then keep to the left in 1.4 kilometers. minutes to spare. Now that we're in Canada, we have one hour, 52 minutes left on our clock. So many of these LED street lights are malfunctioning and they're turning purple. It's a defect to get them replaced. You can see them from the US side already. I was wondering what all those purple lights were until I realized, oh, that's the Canadian side. Oh, that's our side. Yeah. Yeah, we're the one with all the defective bulbs. Well, hey, at least the scale is closed. That's some good news. Very good news. Closed scale is the best kind of scale. They're my favorite. This guy's parked here on Main Street every single night, I've noticed. <laughs> Must live in an apartment here or something. Yeah, I've seen him there every single night, but in the morning after I get loaded, he's gone. Back in Carmen, if you hadn't gathered that. Just about finished our day. We've been driving for over a thousand kilometers today already since we started. Uh, about 620 miles. further. I am tired. Well, I started a lot earlier than usual. I had to get up at 5 a.m. today just so I can get to the shop, get the truck and trailer ready, and then drive all the way here like I was saying before. Tomorrow at least, well tonight, we'll get a really good sleep here. Yeah, I got quite a bit of time. Time is now uh, 10 to 9, so by the time I stop it'll be 9 o'clock. don't have to 
to uh, start loading till about 8.30 tomorrow morning. It's about 11 and a half hours. That should be enough, eh? <laughs>